Thanks for the YouTube link. I'll use it next time. Yeah, no worries. Just want to. Sometimes we have technical difficulties, as you know. <laughs> so want to want to give you the the options. Okay, I think I think we're up and running. Got to make sure I'm situated here. So that looks good. All right, I think we're up and running on all fronts. We've got Zoom, we've got YouTube. Uh, YouTube just went live, it was the last one to go live. And then I think Instagram is running as well. So should be good to go. So we've got Coach Adam and myself here today on a nice sunny Friday. Nobody better be out at happy hour yet, especially not Yvonne. Officer Mike, are you at happy hour by the pool right now? Wait for him to get on here. Uh, we've got uh, a good and hard one for today, doing quite a few of one of my favorite exercises, some snatches. So we'll get a little bit of a warm up first, and then we're going to get right into it because we've got a lot, a lot to do. Who just signed on here? Alexis. Alexis, you better own your lockout today. So, all right, we'll do a quick little warm up, and then we'll we'll get right into it. So hands at our sides, shoulders slightly back. And we'll do our neck to start with. So drop chin to chest, and then up to the ceiling. And when we go up, lift the chest and the sternum up a little bit. And then as I drop my chin back down, kind of curl my chest and sternum a little bit. And just do a few of these at your own speed. One more. Okay, let's do some neck circles now. So start at chin to chest. Roll to one side, up to the ceiling. And we'll do three each direction. All right, I'm switching, I got my three. Got my three each way. Let's go ahead and do some shoulder rolls. We'll just go five each direction. So forward, up, back, down. Once you've got five one direction, go ahead and switch. All right, that's five for me, we'll switch. Back, up, forward, and down. All right, we'll go arms out. We'll do some of our Egyptians. So spin to one side and then to the other. Remember, it's normal for your back arm to drop a little bit when you spin, but don't just let it free fall down. Part of the stretch is trying to keep it, you know, somewhat, somewhat up as we go. All right, square up. Keep your arms out to your side. We'll do our elbow circles. Switch directions. Awesome. Okay. Just really quick with the wrists and relation the fingers, elbows pretty close to each other. I'll call the switch here. Just nice swivels and trade directions. Awesome. All right. Let's go down on the floor. I'll kind of go sideways to the camera so you guys can see how inflexible my back is. <laughs> and then we'll do some of our cat cow and cat camel. I don't know if those are two different things or if they're the same thing, but I usually use them interchangeably. So we're going to tuck our chin to our chest, and then we're going to try to pretend that our spine is getting tugged up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to go the opposite. So I'm going to let my chin lift and let my back go down to the floor. And just go back and forth to your own speed. All 
All right, so while we're here, let's just do five push-ups at a pretty slow tempo. Okay, so slow your tempo down to where five reps takes you about as long as maybe eight or ten reps normally. Let's go at your own speed. And after that, we'll just hop up on our feet and let's go 10 air squats, also at just a slightly slow pace. If you want to make any of your air squats harder, you can go hands behind your head. That'll just change your weight distribution a little bit. I think people call these prisoner squats because you look like a prisoner with your hand behind your head. All right, shake that off. And then we'll go ahead and get our kettlebell out. So kettlebell or this is also going to be a good workout if you have more than one kettlebell that you like to snatch with. We're going to be doing uh, the workout is going to be organized into a format we call series. A series is a term for uh, a group of sets. And so we're going to do a group of sets and then have an extended break and then go back and do a group of sets or a series again and so on and so forth. And I'll make sure to let you know when we're at the end of a series. But what you can do is try to use your heavy bell for the first one or two series. Uh, and then if you want to switch to a lighter bell later on, then that's fine. I might do something like that for today so I get a few reps at the heavier one and then a few at uh, a little bit of a lighter one as well. Other things to keep in mind with our snatch workouts. One, if you don't know how to snatch yet, then just do some one-handed swings or some two-handed swings for the same number of reps. Okay? Uh, and then also, if you know how to snatch, but it gets to be a, a little bit much, you start to get tired, you feel your form breaking down, possibly blisters or calluses are becoming a problem on your hands. Remember, our alternatives are option one is continue doing snatches, but cut your reps in half. For example, if the, if the coach says do 10, you would just know, oh, I'm just going to do five because my calluses are becoming a problem or something like that. So that's, uh, that's one option. And then option two is that even if you know how to snatch, if, again, you're getting too tired or especially if your, your hands are becoming a problem, then switch to one-handed or two-handed swings at that point uh, as well. So, okay. So everybody go ahead and get one or two kettlebells you want to do some snatches with and uh, chalk and sweat towel and so on, and then we'll get started. Good. All right. All right, Instagram, give me a little thumbs up. If, if, can you see me from here, Instagram? Because I can see YouTube and I can see Zoom, but I can't see what's on Instagram. So can, I'm going to come check the camera real quick before we start here. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so before our first set of snatches, let's just do a set of two-handed swings to get our hips and low back a little bit warmed up. So let's go, uh, everybody together, Adam and I will do it at the same time. We'll go two-handed swings for 10 reps. All right, ready? And go. Okay, sweet. Again, keep chalk nearby and sweat towel nearby. I'm gonna get all my snatch accessories out here. Goodness, I'm starting to get sweaty here in the gym. Yeah. Almost time to open the door. Almost time. It's almost Officer Mike's yeah. favorite time of year. Time to open the door. Almost. Except we only open it when Mike's not here. Okay, so for the format today, we'll do it where you'll watch Adam go first for however many reps it's supposed to be, and then after he's done, you and I will go together. The first set is going to be 10 snatches on the left-hand side, and Adam will start when I start the timer here. All 
All right, Adam, ready? And go. together and on the left. Next set's back to five to five again. Start the left or the right? Either side that you like. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, so switch. And five. Right, I'm just going to mix it up. I'm going to start on the right. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that adds up fast. Woo. Okay, so that's one. That's a series. So now we got two minutes off. Then we're gonna go again. <laughs> Is it that many more? Sorry, they don't know how many we're supposed to do. It's kind of short. I haven't seen if Warren is on yet, but I know Warren, for a long time, was having a problem where the kettlebell sitting on her wrist would give this like sharp pain right here, and I, I thought the coronavirus was what was contagious right now, but apparently that's it because I started getting that earlier this week. And, Forgot about it until that first 32 kilo snatch went on there. 
And then I got reminded real fast. All right, we got one more minute break. Let's see if I saw any of those basketball sweatbands or anything. I haven't used those in a long time. We'll see if that helps. All right, 30 seconds, and we're going to go again. We'll start, start with 10 on the left. 20 seconds. You're feeling a little bit? Oh, I love strawberry rhubarb pie. It was very good, but it worked out. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm 10 on the left now. Together, ten on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next set, five and five. It snatches to burn it off. <laughs> it's nice to burn off that pie. All right, here you go, Adam. Five and five. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. And five. All right, we're up together. Five and five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten on the right, next set. All right, ready? There you go. Oh boy, we're having 
fun now. All right. Break for the next two minutes. While we're on break, Coach Adam must know what's everyone's favorite kind of pie. Pie, okay. Both he and I like strawberry rhubarb. I probably think Mary Berry is my favorite. Oh, that's right. But I like strawberry rhubarb, also good. I'm, I'm a toss-up cherry or strawberry rhubarb. I might give a quick little edge to cherry, but strawberry rhubarb is only seasonal, so it's harder to get. So I'll always take that if it's in season. Appreciate it. Yeah. Got a minute fifteen. Alexis, you can't start on either side. Officer Mike, how we doing? Chocolate bourbon pecan pie. Why am I not surprised, Mike? What do you say, bourbon? Chocolate, pecan. chocolate bourbon pecan. Cherie says pecan or sweet potato. Mira likes sweet potato. Those are good too. Carly likes peach. Mira says pecan. And then a bunch of emojis for non, non pie related things. All right, 30 seconds. All right, we're going again. All right, I'm going to try one more series with this freaking thing, and then I'm probably going to switch it up after that. All right, we'll be back at 10 on the left. All right, here we go. All right, here it is. Eight. 
Five, five and five minutes. Woo, buddy. They're getting there. All right, you got it, Adam. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Stand up. Here we go. So at the beginning, at the beginning we told you guys that feel free to switch it up and modify as you need to, and we outlined some options. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to trying the next series at the same weight and cutting the reps in half. So instead of 10, I'll do 5, and instead of the 5 each side, I'll do like 3 and 3. I don't know if Adam's going to keep going, but he's going to keep it the same for now. About, what, 80 seconds, and we go. I did like 75 presses with 22 today. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Out in the park, shoulder workout today. Yeah. It's only a 22. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> One more minute break. One more minute. PD, PDX likes Alexis likes blueberry pie. Any other pie votes? Jared, you're on there. What's your what do you, what pie do you like? Sheila, what pie do you like? About 30 seconds. Ooh. All right, about 10 seconds. Adam's going to go. Are you going to do 10 or 5? I'm going to do 10. Like I said, I'm going to cut mine down to the, the halfway point. All right, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, we got five on the left. E. One, two, three, four, five. Good. That first set always feels like, well, this isn't too bad. Then when we get that fourth set in the series, oh. All right, so next one's going to be either five and five, or I'm going to do three and three. All right, five seconds. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Four and five. All right, you're either do five and five or three and three like me. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. 
All right, next set, 10 on the right. The next one will be the five and five, or I'm going to do three and three. All right, three seconds. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four. Five, swing switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. All right, so I'm going to hit three and three. Two minute break. We have one more series of that. Ooh. Anyone else getting a little tired? How's everyone on YouTube doing right now? Sheila, how are you? Holding up? Yeah. Ryan joined in. Ryan, how are you on Instagram? Anyone have fun uh, fun plans tonight? Any Zoom happy hours? New Netflix shows you're gonna watch? A lot of options. I'm still holding out. No Tiger King. I'm gonna try to stay strong. I still haven't seen that yet. Or is a Ted Williams documentary on Netflix? I don't know if it's new or not, but oh, really? what's kind of interesting? Like. Yeah, I didn't realize he was a kind of a rebel. I don't know. I don't know why that surprises me. No way. Oh, he was just sort of like a. I don't know. He, he didn't like the man telling him what to do. Oh, sort, okay. sort of sort of thing. Barks to his own. He did his own job. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And he was famous for the never tipping his cap and you know, oh, that exactly. whole thing and everything. Yeah. All right, so we got one more round through it. I'm gonna be doing swings on this set. I don't know what Adam's going to do. He's going to try to stay all the way through. He's going to try to stay all the way through. That's impressive with 28. All right, 10 on the left. Start in 3, 2, 1, and go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. And ten. All right. I'm going to do swing, but I'm going to keep it with ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
All right, five and five next set. I gotta come back and teach class tomorrow, so if I tear something in my hand, I'd be a problem. All right, five and five. I'm going to swing five and five. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden catching a crotch my shorts. Can anybody else do that? You catch a crotch your shorts on your back swing? So I always roll mine up. Yeah. So Normally, I'm happy with these because they're short. Yeah. All right, 10 on the right. 10 on the right. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Answer. Right, I'm going to try the Adam technique and roll my short stuff. One more set. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah, these add up. One more set. Five and five. And then we're done with these. Good job, everybody. Catch your breath. We're not done yet. We're just done with that. Take a minute. Then we can start with our pipe. Oh, boy. Yeah, let it settle a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you guys through the cameras can see the mats were on very well, but there's a big sweat puddle underneath them, <laughs> underneath where I was. Oh, looks like someone forgot to shut the sprinkler off. Ooh. Break for another minute. Bosch new season? Is Bosch a show, Jared? The pie? The I was going to say, I thought it was new season market at first. What's Bosch, Jared? Anyone know what Bosch is? I don't know if it's a show or a pie. I have no idea. Borscht?
What's a sandbar? Mira was talking about something called a sandbar on there. Hi. I don't know. Is there? I thought that was something on the beach. Or like yeah. No, a sandbar is not food. All right, guys. So that should be hopefully enough break. We've got a little bit of some ab work coming up next. Uh, Jared says it's a Netflix series. Oh. Alexis confirmed that. All right, so I'm just going to grab a stopwatch, and then we're going to get a little bit of ab work in, and we'll all go at the same time for these. All right, so we're gonna be doing some of our hollow position holds with the leg scissor motion, where one leg drops a little bit down. Some key points for these, especially if you haven't trained with us in person, I know there's some folks that are watching from abroad that don't train with us here in person at the gym. So for the hollow position, we want your head and shoulders up off the ground the entire time. And then we also want your, at least your tailbone, ideally you're trying to keep like your whole butt and pelvis also up off the ground the whole time. So the only part of your body that touches the, the floor is sort of this, this area of the back is going to be pretty much the only thing that's touching the floor. You should feel like very rocky, sort of like a, a turtle that got turned over onto its shell. And so you're going to maintain that, and your legs are up high in the air, and they're just going to, one of them is going to drop part of the way to the floor, but not all of the way, and then uh, back up, and then the other one drops. And you can kind of go at the same time, uh, it's fine. But make sure you don't lower your leg more than maybe halfway down, because that's going to make your tailbone go down to the floor, which is what we're trying to avoid. Okay? So we're going to go for uh, I don't know, some period of time, probably about a minute, but if I get too tired, then it might come short, <laughs> shorter than that. All right, so everybody down on your back. All right, ready? And go. Hey, Alexis, you're not halfway there yet. You're almost a quarter away there, though. And for hand position, straight up is where you should start. And then if you want to make it a little harder, you can kind of hold your hands backwards like this. All right, we're about halfway, guys. I forgot these rooms already did ab with them earlier today. 20 more seconds. Cramping. As Pavel says, your guys' comfort is not our concern. So, deal with it. Less than 10 seconds. Keep that tail going up. Three, two, one, and time. Woo. Nice work. All right. After a little break, we're going to do another, another round of some abs. But let's use our time to stretch out a little bit. As you guys know, with the snatches, the grip forms get worked a lot. So we'll go ahead and just uh, stretch the wrist and forearms a little bit. So pick one side. So get hands and knees like I am. I'm going to back up a little so the camera can see. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So hands and knees like I am. We're going to take one hand, spin it to try to point back between your crotch. Keep the elbow locked and just get a good forearm stretch for a second there. If you can turn your hand all the way to point right at your crotch, do that. I'm pretty tight after the snatches and the swings, and so I can only turn part of the way. Uh, but just do what you can do. Not that I'm very flexible there to begin with anyway. Can you turn all the way? You can turn all the way. I've got like the tightest forearms ever. My arm is big. <laughs> Skinny forearms. I must have eaten a lot of spinach as a kid or something. Yeah, I, I used to, I've never liked front squats, but I don't even try to do them regular anymore. The only time I do is with the straps. I like zercher squats, though. I don't, I don't mind the bar in front of me, I just don't like it. Shake that off. That was about one minute, and then we'll go ahead and do the same one minute on the other side. 
This one's cooled off a little more. Let me turn it back farther. Mike, can you do this one out by the pool today? After we got 30 more seconds of this stretch. I want to hear if you're in the condo or if you're out, out by the pool. Okay. It's not hot tub anymore. Now it's pool weather. I just think that it closed off is my guess. <laughs> well, Mike's a man of the law. He can, <laughs> just say he's, he can just say he's patrolling and, you know, trying to keep law and order. 15 more seconds of this stretch here. Oh, that was a big stretch. All right, break for a minute so Mike can have a second to write down if he's at the pool or hot tub or whatever. Uh, well, actually, we'll give ourselves one more stretch, buy our abs a little bit more break, and then we'll finish one more set of abs. All right, so for our stretch, we'll do some kind of comp combined hip and thoracic. So let's go into a close grip push up and step into our Spider Man. And Mira likes this one a lot. So we're gonna go him behind the head and we'll go down and then up. Oh, a couple good pops. And just do two more of those. Down. We need Mira to demonstrate. More. Uh, yeah, do it like Mira, not like me. All right, that's three. Drink size. Hand behind the head. Down. And up. We'll kind of pop there too. It's three in each direction. It's good that these things are moving. <laughs> nice three. Normally I'm so locked up, I don't even get any motion there. <sighs> All right, enough delaying tactics. One more set of abs, and then we'll call it a day. All right, same one as before. Head up, shoulders up, legs up, and go. Definitely not halfway yet, Alexis. You're almost a quarter of the way. And again, as it gets higher, the legs don't have to go as far. The farther down your leg goes, typically the more difficult it's going to be. So you can make just smaller leg motions if you want to. There's our halfway point, guys. Keep working now. Try to keep head and shoulders up. It's almost pool party season over Officer Mike's. It might have to be a virtual pool party, but yeah. <laughs> he's, he's still going to have some beef juice cocktails, though. 12 more seconds, guys. They're almost there. Six. Come on now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's time. Whew. All right, guys. Well, I definitely feel like I got my workout in for today. I forgot we had these, so I did a bunch of some stir the pots earlier, so my abs are, are going to feel lovely tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, Adam, thanks for, for jumping in. I think Mira and I are probably going to do it tomorrow uh, for a nice little Saturday session for everybody. And then remember, Sunday will be another lighter sort of deload type workout, uh, only about half the amount of workout and more, more stretching and mobility work instead. If you guys have any mobility requests, send them in to me or to Mira, and we'll see if we can get one or two of the requests into Sunday's session. Otherwise, guys, enjoy the nice sunny weather. If you've got a, a deck or a yard or somewhere you can go enjoy it safely, go take advantage. Looks like rain tomorrow. A little bit in the morning. A little bit in the morning, so get the sun while you can. All right, guys, strong on three. One, two, three. Strong. strong. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Let's shower a little in the morning. Surprise, Alexis, I'll have you know that I get complimented on my rep counting, and some of my clients even say that they wouldn't even train with Mira because she's the worst rep counter. So I'll have you know that. <laughs>